We have moved away from the era where scientists made their own equipment and thus knew its limits to a time where complex, often impenetrable machines magically produce numbers. With this change has come a need to understand exactly what is being measured and the limitations associated with that measurement. We therefore thought it timely to run a series of mini-reviews under the heading Myths and Methodologies, or M&Ms, in which invited authors describe a methodology, its underlying principle of action, validity, reliability and variability, appropriate and inappropriate applications, and provide tips on effective use and the avoidance or at least the minimization of error. If the reviewers of a, an m and manuscript offer interesting or even alternative views, we will also publish these. The overall aim being to give the reader a thorough understanding of a methodology, its appropriate application, and importantly, the potential limitations of the data it provides. It is recognized that any one of these reviews may only be of interest to a relatively small range of readers. But one of the strengths of a journal such as Experimental Physiology and its position as a journal of the Physiological Society is that it can have education rather than just citation as one of its primary objectives. Having said this, it is hoped that across the series many readers will find the m, &M reviews of interest and of use and they will contribute to even better publications going forward. We start with what on the surface may seem a simple measure exercise mass and water balance. We urge you to read on.